Welcome to Solemn Vanguard channel. Today we had another Tuesday stream and let's go over these reveals. As always, if you still need anything Vanguard, be sure to go to 50cards.shop and use the code Solemn for a discount. The link is in the description. So we got the Dual Nation cards, which is actually something I've been looking forward to for a while now. The idea of having cards that are being forced into both nations is really interesting to me because the amount of deck building possibility that could sprout from that is really interesting interesting. Now, these first ones won't necessarily blow my mind or your mind. And that makes sense, right? You can't come out with a new mechanic and right over the gate, like break everything open. But in the future, I do think these will be very impactful. And so for that reason, we should go over those first ones regardless. So we have the new starter. This is still just pure Stoikea. We have our uh, Roroa, which is just our typical draw, nothing too interesting. Then we have another Roroa, which is the grade one. It says, when this unit is placed by riding on the other one, call up to one plant token to your back row center R. This card is a glitter which seeks the fire regalis. Okay, kind of whatever. Glitter is the new keyword, but it's not really much of a keyword. Like from my understanding, and again, we just saw this, so maybe I'm wrong here. It just seems like a, a state of like, hey, we have this Vanguard, so now we're in glitter, which is not really much of a keyword anyway. But so with that being said, it is interesting how this will essentially give you a booster from turn one. So that is pretty solid going second. This means pe people can't 15k no pass you. And what may be interesting here is that this is a plant token just like Neo Nectar. So the actual mechanic plant token comes back into Overdress despite being initially a V mechanic. Now what I find really interesting here is it is literally the same as V, but then when we had the new keyword for Lyrical Monasterio, I'm forgetting the name, which is basically a remake of Harmony, they're using a different name instead. So it's like they bring back a mechanic that already existed and they keep the name here, Plan Token, but then for Bermuda, they didn't. Kind of confusing. Next, we have another Aurora. We have Auto when this unit is placed on V, cost, retire one of your rear guards and call up to two Plan Tokens. And since you have the Plan Token from last turn, basically it's turning one into two. The reason that they do it this way instead of just having this one call another plan token is probably so you can't splash this as easily into any other deck. So you can't just go, oh, I actually value the confirmed plan token here over, you know, whatever else Toykea ride line you might be running. So you can't just splash this into Zorga, you know, as just a grade two. You're gonna be forced into the complete one two line, which you might still do. I don't know, but it's not as easy as just playing this one off. Next, we have the grade three Roroa. Act on V once per turn, cost Soul Blast 1, call up to 3 plant tokens to R. That's pretty solid. And then auto on V when this unit is attacked, so it is a defensive mechanic, cost retire one or more of your token units and this unit gets power plus 5k for each retired for this cost. So you can basically blow up your tokens to guard with them. Beyond that, this card doesn't seem to do much that much though. However, now we get into our dual nation card right here. It is act on R if you do not have a Momoka token, cost counter blast one and call up to one Momoka token to R. So there's this cute little dragon thing here and that dragon thing allows you to retire one or more of your other rear guards and then this unit gets power plus 5k for each retired unit. So you can just blow up your own entire own field and then this guy gets big. He also has the glitter keyword and then continues on R if you have a unit with Radilina in its card name in the same column this unit can attack from the back row. So then the other girl is the Radilina. She can make the token. She also has glitter and then when this unit attacks cause Soul Blast choose one of your token units in the same column and this unit gets the power of that unit until end of that battle. So the way you're gonna basically do that is you're gonna have your Radilina in the front row making the token in the back row. Then you try to make the token huge and you're boosting it with your triggers and so forth and then your little guy is able to attack on its own and then give all of its power also to the girl. So that is pretty solid. Like that's not bad at all. It's an interesting way to multi-attack. And since this is part of the dual nation, you could even go like play that Stoikea thing that gives power to a unit. And then afterwards transfer that power from the dragon onto the girl. Like there's a lot of little things you can do here. Now beyond that, we didn't really have much reveals in terms of the TCG. We do know that next week we have the big presentation. So there we can expect some really big changes, likely some type of ban list up Update, maybe some more new product reveals, maybe some art from premium collection or something along those lines. I don't know, you know, we're just gonna see what products are in store here. Basically the most hype streams overall. So yeah, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, go to 50cards.shop and use the code Solemn for a discount and I will see you soon. Ciao.